Today is December 20th. It's the 355th day of the year, and this is the On This Day podcast. On this day in 1995, Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth sends a letter each to her son, Prince Charles, and his estranged wife, Princess Diana, urging them to get a divorce. It's three years since their separation is formally announced by the Prime Minister in 1992, which comes 11 years after their fairy tale wedding in 1981, in which Charles and Diana are wed in St. Paul's Cathedral in a televised ceremony watched by hundreds of millions of people around the world. Just as many eyes are on them as their marriage disintegrates in the most public way possible. He's into horses, she's into pop culture. He prefers to wander his vast gardens while she keeps up with the latest creations by fashion's top designers. They have few interests in common, but the problems in their marriage go far beyond that. They start with their age difference. She's nearly 13 years younger than him. And they end with the fact that he's still in love with and having an affair with a previous girlfriend. In November 1995, Diana gives an explosive interview to the BBC Current Affairs show Panorama and shares with viewers that, quote, There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Three of us meaning Diana, Charles, and his mistress Camilla Parker Bowles, who is married to another man at the time. In the interview, Diana also acknowledges the tawdry gossip of her affair with James Hewitt, written about in a 1992 biography, Diana, Her True Story. And in the interview, Diana discusses her estranged husband's future job prospects as king, the top job as she calls it, stating that the top job would bring enormous limitations to him and, quote, I don't know whether he could adapt to that. Diana's widely seen panorama interview in November 1995 does nothing to divert attention away from the separation and the royal family. It does just the opposite, focusing attention on the mess that their relationship has become, airing the dirty laundry of the man who would be king, threatening the stability of the monarchy. Diana tells host Martin Bashir she doesn't want a divorce. But it seems from the interview, she wants a way out of the position the royal family and the media attention has put her in. Following the panorama interview, the Queen, the Prime Minister, and her privy councillors discuss what to do. After two weeks of deliberation, the Queen issues letters to both Charles and Diana, calling for an end to their marriage. And on this day in 1995, it is announced, quote, After considering the present situation, the Queen wrote to both the Prince and Princess and gave them her view, supported by the Duke of Edinburgh, that an early divorce is desirable. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh will continue to do all they can to help and support the Prince and Princess of Wales, and most particularly their children, in this difficult period. Prince Charles announces his support of the Queen's position, and two months later, after a series of negotiations, so too does Princess Diana. The couple's divorce is made official in August 1996, Diana no longer in line to be Queen, and stripped of her royal title known going forward as Diana, Princess of Wales. She's awarded joint custody of their children and a lump sum payment of approximately $20 million. Exactly one year later, in August 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales, is killed in a car crash in Paris. Prince Charles says he'll never get married again, but he does, to Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005. In the Panorama interview, Diana speaks with Martin Bashir about her marriage. Quote, The most daunting aspect was the media attention. Because my husband and I, we were told when we got engaged that the media would go quietly, and it didn't. And then when we were married, they said it would go quietly, and it didn't. And then it started to focus very much on me, 
and I seem to be on the front of a newspaper every single day, which is an isolating experience, and the higher the media put you, is the bigger the drop. There are 11 days left in the year.